All right, it's Mr. Barr, and this IXL deals with does XY satisfy the linear function. Notice I have my paper out so I can actually write things down. So the question is this. If this is the function y equals x, does 7 comma 0 make it true? This is the x, this is the y. I'm just going to plug it in. So I put the x right here, 7, put the y right here, 0. Is that true or false? Does 0 equal 7? That's false. Does it make it true? No. Okay, so now I have the exact same type of thing. This is y equals x and the point, excuse me, y equals x and the point is 1 comma 1. Plug in a 1 here, plug in a 1 here, so 1 equals 1. Yes or no? Yes. Next one, y equals 3x and I'm looking at 0, 0. I plug in a 0 here, 0. Plug in a 0 here, so 3 times 0 is 0. 0 equals 0. True or false? Yes. Not true or false. Yes or no? Yes. It is a solution. Next one. y equals x plus 9. And what am I plugging in? 2 comma 8. 2 comma 8. 2 is the x. That's going to go right here. 2 plus 9. y is the 8. 8 equals 2 plus, plus 9. No. y equals 5x. y equals 5x. And I'm about to plug in 4 comma 0. x is 4 and y is 0. So 0 equals 5 times 4. 5 times 4 is 0? No. y equals x. Does 3 equal 5? No. y equals x plus 3, and I'm plugging in 8 comma 5. Okay, 8 is the x, so that's 8 plus 3, y is the 5. 5 equals 8 plus 3, no. y equals negative x, y equals negative x, and what am I plugging in? Negative 2 comma 7. Okay, so negative x, negative negative 2, 7 equals negative negative 2. So 7 equals 2 negatives in a row become a positive, so 7 equals 2, no. And this will be my last one because I just got you guys up to a 60. y equals x plus 8. y equals x plus 8. And the point is 7, negative 1. Plugging in 7 plus 8. Does that equal negative 1? Is 7 plus 8 negative 1? No. OK, now I'm just going to go faster. Let's see what happens here. Plugging in a 2, negative 8 plus 9. Negative 8 plus 9 is 1. No, that didn't work. Plugging in a 0, 0 minus 6 equals 6. No. Plugging in a 1. 1 times 6 equals 6, yes. Plugging in a 5, that gives me negative... Ah, this is an interesting one. Here, let's take a look at this. This one's worth looking at. y equals negative 4x minus negative 6. Minus negative 6. See those two? They become a positive. So y equals negative 4x plus 6. x is 5 and y is negative 14. So negative 14 equals negative 4 times 5 plus 6. Negative 20 plus 6 is negative 14, so this is actually a yes. Is this a solution? Negative 21 times negative 21, no. No, it's huge. Negative 5 minus 18 is negative 23. That does work. Anything going to change? I'm at 80 y equals 0, I plug, oh, okay, this is also an interesting one. So y equals 0, and what am I plugging in? I'm plugging in negative 13 comma 0. So there is no x to plug in, but there is a y. So plug in y, 0 equals 0, it's true. Uh, y, plugging in y, negative 22 equals 22, no. It's similar to the one I just did. Plugging in a 3, no. That's going to be like negative 72 equals 3, no. Or positive, yeah, no. Either way, it's huge. 
got huge. Plugging in is zero. Zero minus seven equals seven, no. I'm in the challenge zone. Okay, that's enough for this video. Yes, I know, just stop bar. Okay, now I'd use a calculator. See you later.